talking about the students who are kicking butt and are doing great versus the students who are not, right? Now, the ones who are not, it is not because of anything that, you know, was taught to them or something went wrong. It's because of one thing. Can anyone tell me what that is? They're not doing things. They're just not doing it. Um, and ironically enough, one of the reasons I find they're not doing it This really is the reason. And the way we hide behind fear, right? The way, the way I'm finding, um, we are very smart people. And we know how to get around whatever we need to get around and how to mask things and how to. So the way we will get, the way we will get around fear and make it seem that so we're not afraid, so no one can blame us for being afraid, but make it look like, hey, we're not taking action for a very justified reason. And the way we'll do that is through Questions. Question, 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 question. Now, here's the deal. Let's say we're working on something right now. You can ask me a gazillion questions about that thing, and I am most happy to respond to them. But that's not what typically happens. Well, we start getting our lots of questions about five steps down the road, six steps down the road, eight steps down the road. And I think our, our, some of our current mentorship students could vouch for this. I will not answer them. I just won't. I'm simply going to tell you to focus on what I've asked you to do and what the group is doing. And when we get to it, we'll get to it. Right? We got it down to a system. Guys, I've been doing this for 12 years, or yeah, almost 12 years now. Um, and I would tell you one of my greatest traits is I take action. All right? I get coaching. I, I have my mentors. I have people who mentor me. I shared that with you at the Future of Wealth event. And I... They ask me to do things all the time that are way out of my comfort box, way outside of my comfort box. And I, have a, I want to as well hide behind questions and, and trying to do all my research and make sure I understand everything first so that there is no risk. Let me tell you right now, that doesn't exist. It won't happen. And you 100% uh, will basically halt yourself. So I don't do that. I just, I just do it. Right? And sometimes I make mistakes and I fall, and so what? I get back up. So you have to take action. So when it comes to t setting expectations, what we share with you at this event is enough to get you started. It's to give you guidance, it's to give you something to start running with. All right? However, we have 20 different people here, 20 different minds here. Okay? So the exact template that I talk about, which is what has shown me success or has shown my students success, may or may not be your exact template. You may need to modify. You may need to try a few different things. I may share numbers with you. So one of the things I'm actually experiencing with my current mentorship students is I'll share a number with them and say, look, every time I send out an email, I, get, I earn this much. And what I realize now is, yes, I earn that much. I've had 12 years of experience in writing emails. I have a brand. I have a re reputation with my list, right? Whereas someone just starting may not get that exact number. So the other expectation I want us to have, and I will be very loud on correcting people in the group with this, is rather than always focusing on what's not working, we're going to first focus on what is working, on the good stuff, and then we'll figure out if something is really way out of left field that we need to fix as we move together as a group. Um, the next expectation here is, so. We're not, as a team, my team and myself, we are here to guide and coach you, but we're not here to do it for you. And I really, 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 really want to take the time to draw the distinction there. Um, because you've got to learn how to do this. If I was going to do it all for you, quite honestly, I would just go do it. Right? I would just go do it, and I would do it for myself. So, why? so that is something that happens along the way. This happens all the time with us where... And I see it because I'm the master of it myself. I'll see a student doing it. They'll send me a question. I'll respond or someone. Then they'll be like, well, I don't really understand. Can you explain further? And then by the third or fourth, they're like, could you just do it for me? And I'm telling you right now, you will get a response from me that says no. We won't. Even if it's something small, a lot of times the tasks are tiny. Maybe they only take me five minutes to do, but I still will not do them. Okay? Because we are here to teach you, to build you. And me doing it for you doesn't do me justice or you justice. So we got to teach you how to do it. So all of those times, those are, those are comfort zones that you've got to step out of 
and you've got to do it. Um, the other thing is just because you're in this program doesn't guarantee anything. Um, I think I like to make that very clear because I don't want you guys thinking, look, it's business, right? I can't guarantee anyone anything in business. Um, and there will be days you fall. There will be things that go wrong. There will be problems. The cool thing is you've got a group here to help support you through them. Okay, so that's kind of the expectations I want to set. We are here to help, support, coach, guide, and give you a framework that's been proven to work upon, right? And then from there, it's really upon you to take action, to make it your own, and to go from there and build from it. And if you'd like to, share with the rest of the group so that everyone else can learn from what you're doing. Uh, so that, that sets that stage. The second thing is when we ask you to do something, um, this, this fear, I want to talk about this early on because a lot of these things are fresh in my mind right now because we've been going through our past group. The fear is, what if it doesn't work, right? That doesn't make sense. This wouldn't work if I was you know, on the other side. What I would tell you is, do you remember at Future of Wealth Live event, I spoke about uh, mind blocks. I spoke about how our mind has a way of pushing against things that it doesn't believe and a lot of times, people will use brutal force to calm the mind down what, by just saying, no, it will be, no, it will be, no, it will be. And I always said, let's not do that. Let's not force our mind into submission. Let's work with the mind. So let's give the mind something to make it into a believer. Okay? Because I promise you, you guys, what's going to happen, we're going to have a great weekend. You're going to get super pumped up. And on Monday, when you go back home and it's time to start taking action, things are going to start coming up. And we won't be there as a group to keep you pumped up, right? At that time, uh, you're going to need to know there's going to have to be that trust to just do something. And what I want you to do is take the smallest step possible to do what we ask you to do. Because even the smallest win is going to make, it's going to go a long way with your mind. It's going to go a long way with converting your mind into a believer. So I'll give you a perfect example. We just dealt with this with one of our students who was here few months back and a couple of weeks ago he sent me a message on Facebook and said he really wanted to call um, is that me sorry uh, he really wanted to call and he was you know feeling lost and so I said sure so we got on a call and I listened and all it in the end came down to was he felt very overwhelmed he was very scared and he hadn't done anything yet you know not even the first step of phase one and so I started listening to him and what he repeated over and over was, well, what if this doesn't work for me? What if this only works for you and it's not working for me? So, and then he started asking me a ton of questions about product development, sales letters, and this and that. And I could immediately tell that he was overwhelming his mind with way too many things his mind didn't believe in. So what I asked him to do is I said, let's throw all of that into the trash. All right, and let's just do one thing. Can you get a opt-in page up by tomorrow? That's all. Can, can you do that? Can you use a simple service like lead pages to just get an opt-in page up? And he said, yeah, I can do that. I said, great, get that up. And then what I want you to do is build, I'm going to send you a sample of autoresponders. By the way, all these words, if they don't make sense, I'm going to go over them today. So, so I gave him three steps, all three which were very simple, very actionable. And I said, you and I will not talk on the phone now again until these three steps are done. Right? And he... He fought a little, but overall he understood. I said, I need you to do these because I know what's going to happen on the other end, and you're going to come out of the other end really excited. And then for me to coach you the rest of the way, it'll be easy. It'll make my job a lot easier. So exactly to the T, that's what happened. Within a week, he had finished all three steps. He had built his first five, 600 subscribers. He had seen the revenue just the way I had said it would happen. And now, all of a sudden, he was a believer. And now he's off, the, off to the races. You know, he's doing everything else he needs to do. He's on schedule. So instead of wasting three months, you know, just take the steps. We have them the way we have them now on, for a reason. I've put them together this way for a reason. Um, I think that's all I have to say. The only other last thing I would say as we start this group uh, is Bob Proctor said something really, truly amazing at the event um, in Future of Vault that really, he said it to me the night before, and then he actually said it on stage. I don't know if you guys caught it. He said, when, when, when you're working with a coach or you're working with a mentor or a trainer, there's, there's two kinds of students. There's a student who genuinely wants the training, who's willing to do whatever it takes, absorb it, and do what the coach says. Then there's the other student who says, I want you to coach me, but I want you to coach me my way. Right? And we get a lot of that. 
See, we, this is my comfort box. You're going to coach me. You come in here. You coach me from inside of this. Don't make me step outside. Right? And what I've discovered in the past when I have students pay me to coach me is there's also that sense of entitlement. Hey, I paid you. You come here. And stand in my box with me and coach me. And the thing is, I could totally do that. You would feel great. Right? You'd be happy to have paid me. And six months from now, you'll be sitting in the same exact place you're sitting. But you'll feel great about it. And you'll love me. And you'll talk praises of me to other people. <laughs> All right? But you'll be sitting exactly where you are. And you'll have driven me mad by, the, by that point, by the way. Like, I can't sit in 20 different boxes. Right? So one of the things we do is I'm very, 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 very firm about this. We do it my way. Because my way has proven to work. So we put certain operational structures in place. You know, we put in certain rules and guidelines about how to contact, who to communicate with, how to do this. All of that's not because I don't love you and because I don't want to talk. It's because it's there for a reason. Trust me, when you've got something operational, detail-oriented, you want to talk to Meredith. You don't want to talk to me. Because I'm going to get cross-eyed. I'm going to tell you, sure, yeah, I'll get it done by tomorrow. Ain't nothing going to happen. All right, because I'm not good at that stuff. What I'm good at is what you'll see this weekend helping you craft your offer, working on the sales side, giving you the overall business plan, cross-checking your sales materials, giving numbers to you, helping you connect with different advertisers, networking. That's my specialty. right? So one other thing I'll, I'll, I'll ask is the next time you're feeling uncomfortable in this mentorship program, which will happen, for some of you it'll be Monday, for some of you it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There will be an uncomfortable moment. It's a guarantee. Just remember that you're in the right place. You're supposed to feel that way. We're pushing you out of your comfort zone. And if we don't, then actually this program wasn't worth it for you. If at no point you're not, if you're not uncomfortable at any point during this whole process that we go through in the next few months, then actually we didn't do anything for you. And you know, that's the time you should be worried. Uh, last but not least, if I were to, yeah. So basically, allow us to work the system uh, come join us on our side, and if you're scared, if you're worried, uh, last piece of advice that, again, I learned from Bob Proctor is if it doesn't scare you, it's not worth doing it. Really? Right? So if it doesn't scare you, if it doesn't make you uncomfortable, if it doesn't make you ask three times whether you know, it's right, it's right, then it's not worth doing. So uh, it's so funny because some of you, actually, who joined the program said you joined because of that very reason, that it scared the living lights out of you, so you decided, I'm going to do it, which is great. Excellent. Now I'm going to scare you more. 